Hey guys, I'm out here on another overnight or a little overnight camp trip. I uh, brought the samurai. Uh, I got a couple buddies coming up here. So I found us a nice little spot in the woods. Uh, I got a little fire pit here. I think I'm going to try to set my hammock up over between those two pine trees. And then hopefully they got a spot they can set their tent up somewhere. Um, I'm going to head down, back down the main road, um, and meet them to show them where I'm camped at. Because there's no signal up here and I came back in here a lot farther than I was planning. But every other site to bring my trailer into was pretty full without pulling off the main road. And I hate doing that if I can't turn around. So this one we're only a couple hundred yards off the main road. And it was empty for once. So I guess I'll head out, meet them. We'll go from there. Okay, we had to drive down the highway about six miles, which is very terrifying in this little samurai to get signaled to text my buddies where we're at. Now I'm going to head back and wait for them at the turn off so I can lead them to camp. But it is gorgeous. I hope it doesn't rain. I think it's passed through. It's mainly the north of us. Because um, I don't have a tent or anything. I have a hammock. So it'll be exciting. Okay, we're just sitting here in the parking lot waiting for everyone to get here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a nice rainbow there. I hope they get here before that, so I don't want to get wet. Because of course I took the top off and don't have it with me, and I took the doors off. So it might get cold if it rains. Okay, we had a successful night sleeping in the hammock. Um, well, semi-successful. I brought the wrong sleep bag that's a little small for me. Um, there were some coyotes howling pretty close last night, but I didn't have my camera with me in my sleeping bag, so didn't film that. Now we're gonna head down to, I think, Miller's Flats Reservoir and try some fishing. So hopefully we'll catch something, and I might go tool around and do a little riding. Okay, we caught two fish fishing. Well, I caught two. I caught one more, and then they're gonna stay for a little bit longer. Uh, cause they're staying the nights, but I gotta go back and go for a little bit of a ride and then break down camp and head home today. Then there's uh, a little bit of a medical emergency down on the other side of the lake. We'll maybe see what's happening as we go by. Uh, probably won't film it for privacy reasons, but I'll report on what it is. I don't know if someone crashed on the road or what's happening. Hopefully they'll let me go by. Well, I couldn't quite see what was happening. Uh, there was a ton of people around, um, but it was off the main road, down a little road that goes down to the water. So I don't know if it was a medical emergency or if someone, there was a dirt bike sitting near it, so I don't know if maybe it pulled up, went off the road and ended up down there. Uh, hoping they're all right. Uh, they had sheriff, paramedic, and ambulance was there when I went by, so they should be good to go, hopefully. So I'm just going to take a little, hopefully a little detour if the road on Onyx actually is the road. Um, and then make a loop back to camp. And then probably load up and head home. And looking at where we're headed, um, it might be rainy at camp, so I don't know if they have a rain fly in their tents. Hope their stuff won't get soaked. Um, I put all my bedding away, but my hammock and stuff still up. But I'm not sleeping in tonight, so it should be fine if it gets wet. So hopefully fall as well. Well, I stopped because I forgot to put up the straps to hold the top on in the back, like always. Um, while I was doing that, someone stopped and asked if I needed help, which was pretty nice and I think kind of rare. Uh, so I was just sitting on the side of the road. Um, fiddled with the GoPro a little bit before I took off again and they just stopped and made sure I was safe. Okay. So.
Okay, I found this trail. <clears throat> it is an actual trail. It's a 66 inch restricted trail, which luckily is as wide as a samurai is, which is kind of crazy considering it was rated for road use and it's as small as the restricted side by side trails. So um, it's probably a four or five mile loop. Uh, um, hopefully, it's not nothing too crazy. But it's pretty nice up into the trees right away. Uh, hopefully not much traffic because I know a lot of the razors and stuff are getting over 66 now. So hopefully there's not much traffic. Looks like the perfect perfect spot for there to be a moose hanging out in there. But if you hung out here in the near sunset, you might see something. But middle of the day, not so much. Mama deer, baby deer right through there. That's pretty cool there, pretty close to the road. Um, hopefully it, you can see them on here. I'll have to try to zoom in. <coughs> it's wide angle lens don't work very well for wildlife photography. Well, looks like I'm getting to some more improved roads. There's some sign of life of trailers and camp, so hopefully the rest of this will be a little bit better trail. bumpy and slow so at least now we should be able to maintain 10 12 miles an hour pretty easy if I run over some more ground squirrels they're everywhere up here I don't think I've ever seen this many this late in the year usually they're out crazy in the spring but then they kind of disperse from most places I've seen these people up here seem to have some of the worst road etiquette I've seen they don't slow down don't get over when they're passing you, even whether they're in a car, truck, side-by-side, -side, four-wheeler. I mean, some do, but there's a good percentage that don't. Uh, just common courtesy to slow down, keep your dust down while you pass somebody, but no oh will. We'll live. Uh, get back, eat some lunch, pack up, and hit the road and get home to the family. They'll be bored without me. Okay, all loaded up. Um, hitting the road, headed home. Um, they're staying an extra night. Hopefully they get their rain canopy put on their tent because it's a rumbling of thunder and looking pretty dark. Dark as it's looked so far this weekend. But it was fun. Good little ride. Caught a couple fish, so didn't get skunked three times in a row fishing. Hopefully I might take all my fishing footage and put them into one video because it's not a lot. Um, but hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Pulled over to let some uh, razors go by. And it was 72 degrees when I stopped. It's been about four minutes. It's down to 65. And we're heading right into the rain. So... Looks kind of nasty, but looks like it's hopefully far enough where I'm not going to be going through it on the dirt road. But we'll see. Hopefully I don't get too muddy if it does rain. Well, I didn't make it to the highway. I haven't even made it to the reservoir yet, so I'm maybe halfway. And it is coming down. Looks like I'm going to be getting a car wash. Hope you can even hear what I'm saying because of the rain.